Well, Thursdays are known to get absolutely wild and out of control here at ABC 15. We love our animals and we know you do too. And that's why we are taking action to give you a preview of all the fun that you can have out at the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. Oh, look who we have here. A curious little slithery little snake. <laughs> Joining us is Dr. Sam Russick from the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Great to see you. So what kind of snake is this? So this is a California king snake and particularly the coloring is called the desert phase. Interesting. So so they do come in lots of different colors. The ones you see out here in the wild are probably more of a darker black color with white horizontal bands. You can see hers kind of go a little bit vertically. It's just fascinating, all the different snakes and all their different colors and designs. So I have to ask though, how does it get the name king snake? So it uh, gets that name because it actually is known to eat other snakes. So it's kind of considered the king of the oh, snake my. world. What else yeah. does it eat besides its own kind? Yeah, snakes are actually um, not its typical prey, even though they do eat snakes. Uh, they generally eat other small rodents and lizards, things that t other snakes typically eat. Now, you were telling me that they actually make really good pets, right? A lot of people have them as pets. Yeah, king snakes are one of the most common uh, captive breeds for pets and in zoos and things like that. Um, you can see the very docile snakes are easily uh, tamed and, and easy to be handled, um, but they do take a lot of care just like any pet does. Very friendly, that's for sure. Yes. Now, he said he's a king snake, but does he have an actual pet name? Um, her name is Jasmine. It's a her. Yeah, this is a girl, um, and we've named her Jasmine. This is a very <laughs> strange question, but I have to ask yeah. it. How do you tell a girl and boy snake apart? Um, it's a very good question. Let's get technical here. Getting close on this. Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, so it's pretty similar to the way you tell most other girls and boys of any kind of animal apart. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not seeing much of a difference, but I'll go with what you said there. Yeah. Now, what I love about snakes, I just saw she was stretched out like halfway. Mm -hmm. How many muscles are in their bodies because they are so strong? Yeah, you know, I don't know the exact number, but they have lots of muscles, and um, you know, each muscle goes along. If you've ever seen a snake skeleton, each of those little vertebrae bones, our yeah. spine. And, you know, we only have a limited number, about right. 30 or so, and they're going to have that all the way down, all the way to the tip of their tail. That is insane. And you said that these snakes can be found here and where else? Yeah, so the California king snake are found in western U.S. and into Mexico, um, but king snakes in general, they're uh, found all across the U.S. and into South America. And the most important thing, they're not venomous, right? They're non-venomous, um, but that's not to say if you see one in the wild, you should go ahead and pick it up Don't and mess with it. Don't do what you're doing it. right now. No, <laughs> no, you know, they are wild animals, so you never know if they feel threatened. They can still bite and so we want to try and avoid that and just kind of let them live their life in the wild on their own. Great advice. Yeah. Dr. <laughs> Sam Russick, thank you so much for joining us. You're so very welcome. go ahead and check out the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. That's out Litchfield Park area, right? Litchfield Park, yeah. That's a fun place for the entire family. Lots of activities, lots of rides, lots of animals, and cool snakes like the king snake, Dan. All right, Brandon, I'm glad you